फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टू माय चैनल ऑर्गेनिक एंड हाइड्रोपोनिक अर्बन ग्रो प्रो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू ग्रो अ पोटेटो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू सो ए पोटेटो इन टू हाइड्रोपोनिक सिस्टम और इन टू द ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग फ्रेंड्स पोटेटो इज प्रोपोगेटेड थ्रू इज लास्ट सीजन ट्यूबर और द सीड ट्यूबर नॉर्मली द सीड ट्यूबर इज प्रिपेयर इन अ स्पेसिफिक सीजन सो दैट द इन द नेक्स्ट सीजन इट विल गिव द गुड हार्वेस्ट बट यू कैन ऑल्सो यूज द लास्ट सीजन ट्यूबर विच यू हैव ग्रोन फॉर द सोइंग बट बिफोर सोइंग यू नीड टू प्रिपेयर दैट ट्यूबर फॉर द सोइंग इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डेमोस्ट्रेट यू इन डिटेल हाउ टू प्रिपेयर दिस ट्यूबर फॉर सोइंग एंड वॉट द वॉट आर द स्पेसिंग यू नीड टू मेंटेन टू गेट द गुड हार्वेस्ट टू नो एवरीथिंग इन डिटेल please stay connected to the video till the end let's start the video so friends what you see over here is my potato tuber which i am going to use as a seed now i need to prepare the seed before the sowing now potato can sprout from all around its surface and if i sow the potato full potato then it the sprouts will come from all the sides and many time the bottom sprout cannot come out second when we put saw the potato and if the size is big then at the one place many potato tubers will get developed and it will not nourish well and our production will not be good so whatever the big size potato are there we need to cut it them to a size ensuring that at least 2 to 3 eyes remain on the each of the piece now i show you that the small potato we can use directly as a tuber of this size you can see this here is the 1 2 3 4 5 5 eyes and we can saw this now if the size is big like you can see this this is the big size so we can split it into two again here you can see 1 2 3 4 and 4 eyes on it here again the 1 2 3 4 and 4 eyes on it so we need to cut it now if the size is even bigger than this we can cut it into four and here you can see that one big eye two three four eyes so based on the size of the potato we should cut the potato into either two either four pieces ensuring that at least 20 to 25 g of the tuber remains on the it now once we cut all this potato into the pieces we need to let it dry for a day or two so that the surface the cut surface will get dry and harden and any fungus cannot enter into the tuber further after drying this we can further protect it with application of the uh, trichoderma and pseudomonas a uh, trichoderma will protect it against the other fungus so that tuber will not get rotten and the pseudomonas will protect the tubers against the the insects or the worms into the soil so we'll treat this potato with both of these fungus so this is around 5 kg potato and we will take around uh, 15 to 20 g of this fungus and sprinkle all over the seed like this so same way we'll take the another fungus also so now we have application of the fungus both type of fungus on it now we need to shake it well so that the fungus spore covers on each of the piece so we are shaking this well from all the sides and you can see just see that the coating is happening on the all the pieces here you can see which we have already treated so we can do like this for couple of time and our all seedling will be ready now we can see that the coating is applied on all each of the piece now we can sow this piece so let us see how we are sowing it into the system watch the video 
till the end and if you find this video interesting and useful then give me a like also share it with the like minded people express your view in a comment box and feel free to give any suggestions to improve let's watch the video don't forget to subscribe so now friends these are our potato tuber seedlings are ready and we are going to sow it into this hydroponic system to grow the potato the best hydroponic system is a coco peat grow bed because the potato is the tuber and it will get the good soft area for growing into this coco peat bed we can also use the grow bags the coco peat grow bags for growing the potato the other system what we can use is for growing the potato is aeroponic but it is very complicated and very technical so to grow potato in hydroponic way the best system for the home gardener is to grow it into the coco peat bed it is easy and simple now about the spacing into the system now we are going to grow potato in this grow beds where we have already planted our capsicum and the cauliflower we are going to grow potato here as a intercrop here we have a bed size of 1 and 1/2 feet so we'll keep line to line distance around 1 feet and we have planted our cauliflower plants at a 1 feet distance so same distance will maintain for the potato over here so around 1 feet between the plant and 1 feet between the lines normally if we growing the potato as a single crop we can put it at 8 to 9 inch apart so we are also going to grow potato into this vertical tower system which is again the same grow bed system with the multiple layers here we are going to grow potato as a single crop and we are going to put potato tubers at 8 inch distance into this now first let us see how we are sowing this so for that we need to take each of the tuber now we need to see that cut portion this is the cut portion the cut portion should be going below and the all the eyes should be remain in the top so what we'll do we'll make the small pit double the size of this potato and put the potato in this position and cover it with the coco peat so we are just digging this putting this potato and covering it this is how simply we can plant this potato now if our potato is cut from the multiple side maximum cut side should going below and maximum eye portion on the top so this is how we need to plant this so this is where we will complete whole sowing of the this tuber into the bed once we complete the sowing of the tuber into the bed then we need to maintain the enough moisture throughout the life cycle because potato loves the water also once the potato sprouts it will grow very fast and we need to fertilize the potato as per the its growth cycle in the initial period it requires a lot of nitrogen for its vegetative growth of the vines is a semi vine type crop so the in initial part of the hydroponic formula will keep the nitrogen level little high later on after 25 to 30 days it will start developing its tuber at that time the phosphorus is required more so the next 15 days we'll use the formula where we have a, a little higher percent of the phosphorus into the formula so it will help in developing the more number of tubers into the vines and the later part of the potato growth cycle it's required the potash which is helpful for the big size of the potato development and the good quality of the tuber so in the last part of the life cycle we will increase the potash into the system potato is a total 90 days crop and we'll divide this crop into three part first 30 day nitrogen next 15 day phosphorus dominating and last 45 days potash and we'll ensure that maintaining this nutrition will get the good harvest so similar way we are also going to grow this potato into this tower so we'll sow the potato in this tower also but the nutrition will require same so you also plan growing your potato this season with your either grow bed or the grow bag system which is very easy happy growing